Charles Bright here with Racer X. Uh, we've spent two days on the 2017 CRF 450. Um, it's, uh, it's an absolute different bike than the, uh, than the previous years. Um, the biggest change you notice when you first get on the bike is the engine. Uh, it's much stronger than uh, last year's bike. Um, it really made a big difference with the downdraft intake they just um, put on this engine. Uh, it really opens the power band up, uh, gives it a lot more torque uh, through the mid-range and a lot of over-rev, which a lot of the older CRFs never had. Um, it really translates to a lot more power on the track that you can feel, and it um, really hooks up well um, with the new frame geometry. The 2017 CRF 450 also has three maps uh, already installed in the ECU. Uh, there's a button on the handlebar that you can change between the three maps. It has a standard, um, a mellow, and an aggressive uh, map. Um, all three maps, you can tell a difference when you're riding on the track. Uh, normal is, is probably pretty good for, for all tracks, um, generally. Uh, the mellow helps if it's a slick conditions or things like that, muddy, or if you're just getting tired and you want to mellow the bike a little bit. Uh, the aggressive map works really good, like in sandy conditions where you need that extra power in the deep, loamy soil. Um, it has, gives it a little bit more hit off the bottom and just pulls a little bit harder all the way through the power band. So it's pretty cool that Honda put that on there to change all the way through all your maps. Uh, to change the maps, uh, you just have to be sitting uh, still at an idle. Um, you can do it in gear, out of gear, it doesn't matter. So if you want to pull off the track, let it idle for a second, switch maps. It's pretty cool that you can do that on the fly, um, even though you can't do it while you're actually riding around the track. Uh, I've had every generation CRF 450 since 2005. Um, and this is, in my opinion, the best one yet, obviously. Um, I know a lot of people were disappointed in 2009, the CRF 450 engine lost some power when they went to the, the newer generation, um, but I think they've improved on what they had in 08 and even then some. Uh, this bike is really strong, really runs good. Uh, what they've changed with the chassis, lowering the shock um, mount, it really helps translate into center of gravity being lower, which helps the bike really hook up good which is where they're getting the absolute hole shot from. It's about putting that additional power they got out of this bike this year to the ground and helping it hook up. I'm also fortunate enough to uh, own a dealership back home. Uh, we have Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Polaris. Um, so I get to ride a lot of the uh, newer motocross bikes uh, fairly often. And uh, in my opinion, the, the Honda is the best one um, for 2017. Um, I have not ridden the 2017 KTM. I know a lot of people are comparing this to the new KTM, um, but um, the Honda is really good. We'll have to see if, when it comes shootout time how the bikes actually stack up against each other. With this new generation chassis, uh, Honda also removed the high speed steering damper they've had for the last uh, several years. Um, although the mounts are still there if you wish to put it on, um, the bikes with the new chassis it really uh, tracks well in high speed rough sections as you'll be able to see from the videos um, and it really works well on the track. This morning when we got started riding, I had the uh, Honda guys uh, make some adjustments to the bike to better suit me. Um, we uh, lowered the bars a little bit, um, dropped the levers, and uh, we took two clicks of compression out of the forks. Um, they were a little bit harsh for me on the top of the stroke. I'm um, a little bit underweight for the, the bike stock springs. Um, so uh, making those slight adjustments really helped the bike work better in the rough parts of the track. Um, and I think pretty much anybody could adjust this bike to work for them. So all in all, I think the 2017 is a fantastic bike. Um, I wouldn't be afraid to take it to a national and, and race stock. As you guys could see, Ken Roxon uh, was ripping the thing around the track here on a bone stock bike, and uh, he really made it, made it fly. And I think the bike is really capable in stock form. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.
So what didn't you like about the bike? That's what I'm trying to think because I loved everything about it. <laughs>